In this video, I'll show you how to make 3D printed chainmail using Fusion 360. First of all, create a new sketch and select the top plane. Then draw a hexagon by going to Sketch, Polygon, Circumscribed Polygon. Click the centre of the drawing area and drag out a hexagon. A box appears where you can edit the number of sides. Resize the hexagon by going to Sketch, Sketch Dimension and click on two opposite sides of the hexagon and drag the measuring tool out. Type 10 and press enter on your keyboard. Go to create, extrude and click on the hexagon. Type 1.2 and press enter. I'm zooming in a bit. Go to create, torus and click on the top of the hexagon to create a new drawing plane. Click and drag to draw a torus and set the inner diameter to 4.2mm and the torus diameter to 1mm or play around with the dimensions. Change the operation to new body so that we can move it around and click OK. Click on the torus and go to modify, move, copy. Click on the rotation wheel and go to minus 90 degrees. Use the view cube to change the orientation to front view and use the arrows to move the torus to the edge of the hexagon. Use the view cube again to see it from another angle and move the torus to the centre of the edge. Now change the angle minus 30 degrees and move it to the back of the edge using the little dot which gives more freedom because it doesn't snap to the grid. Make sure that the hexagon and torus overlap each other. Check that it's in the right position and click OK. Now we've got one torus we can create a pattern to draw the rest automatically. Go to Create, Pattern, Circular Pattern and click on the torus, which will become the object to pattern. Click on Select Axis and choose the green vertical line that appears on the model, then click OK. Create a new sketch on the surface of the hexagon and go to Sketch, Circle, Centre Diameter Circle. Click somewhere on the surface and type 2.5 and press Enter twice. Go to Line and starting from the centre of the hexagon, Draw a line to the centre of one of the edges. Click to draw the line and press escape to stop drawing. Then click on the line and turn it into a construction line from the sketch palette. Now select the centre of the circle and whilst holding down shift on the keyboard, select the construction line and choose the coincident constraint. Then select the perimeter of the circle and whilst holding down shift, select the edge of the hexagon and choose the tangent constraint. Go to Sketch, Circular Pattern and click on the circle as the object and for the centre point, choose the centre of the hexagon. Click OK and then click Stop Sketch. Go to Construct Offset Plane, click on the surface of the hexagon and type 3.2mm as the distance. Click OK. Go to Create Sketch and click on this new plane. Then go to Sketch, Circle, Centre Diameter Circle. Hover your cursor over the construction line and then move the cursor further out until you're in some blank space. Click to make the centre of the circle. Type 2.5 and press Enter twice. Go to Sketch, Sketch Dimension and click on the centres of two of the circles. Drag out the dimension tool so it's parallel with the construction line. Type 3.25 and press enter. Go to sketch circular pattern and choose the new circle as the object pattern. And for the centre point use the centre of the hexagon. Click OK and then stop sketch. To make the poles go to create loft and select two of the circles. Then click OK. Repeat this step twice more. If the sketches of the circles are not visible, 
go to the browser tree and click on the little light bulb icon next to the relevant sketches. Create a new sketch on the surface of one of the poles. And go to Sketch, Circle, Centre Diameter Circle. Click in the centre of the top of the pole. Type 3.3 and press Enter twice. Go to circular pattern and choose this circle as the object and for the centre point use the centre of the hexagon. Go to create extrude and click on the three new circles. Type 0 0.3 as the distance. Drag the cursor around the model to select it all. Go to modify, combine and click OK. Go to Create Sketch and choose the top plane by clicking anywhere on the grid. Go to Line and click on the centre of the hexagon. Drag the cursor out through the centre of one of the poles. Click to draw the line and press Escape to stop drawing. Select the line by clicking on it and from the sketch palette turn it into a construction line. Repeat the line drawing process, but this time drag the cursor through the centre of a ring. Go to Stop Sketch. Go to Create Pattern Rectangular Pattern. Drag the cursor around the model to select the objects to pattern. For directions, click on the two construction lines you just drew. Keep the distance type as spacing. In both the distance text boxes, type 11 millimeters. In the quantity text box, type how many repetitions you want for each direction. I went for five. Click OK. Go to Make 3D Print. I can ignore this warning about my version of Cura being incompatible. Select the whole model by clicking on the original hexagon and choose the refinement quality. I went for high. Click OK. Name the file, choose where to save it and click save. This creates an STL file. Using Cura or another slicing software, open the STL file. Rotate the model if necessary. And click Lay Flat. I'm going to stick with the default settings and make sure my build plate adhesion is set to None. Then click Save to File to create a G code file and choose where to save it on your computer. Insert an SD card into the computer and the save button will change so you can just click save to removable drive. Then click eject. Remove the SD card from the computer. Insert the card into the 3D printer and set it up. This is footage printing a larger pattern of the model which took about four hours to print. To change the size of the pattern, go to the history timeline at the bottom of the screen and double click on the pattern icon. Then change the numbers in the quantity text boxes. Click OK to finish.